and I thought uh, I'd tie a uh, sand eel. This is on a uh, Mustard C70 SD, a uh, big game hook, size 4. So, take one of these hooks and we need some easy body uh, tubing. It's not male tubing, uh, it's actually reinforce uh, armoring for electric cables. Um, excellent stuff, especially for salt water patterns. So we cut a little length of that and wait so long, depending on the size of the sand eel you're doing. But this is a manageable length, I feel. So it has a lateral line on each side so you want to make sure that these are where the lateral line should be on the sand eel. Now the tail <coughs> what you have to do is just singe the ends. This will just give a better purchase on the uh, tying thread when we come to do the tail. So <coughs> before we uh, put the hook in the vise what we want to do is just measure, you want the tube to come out just about there. So what we want is a hole underneath the tube about there. So we'll just mark that and I'll show you from underneath. Put the scissors in and then open the scissors up slightly so you get a little hole. Put the hook out through the hole, insert it into the tube and there we go, it should be like this. I'm going to put the hook in the vise. There we go, okay. Just pull the tubing back a little and attach the tying thread at the front of the tube. Remove that. There we go. Now here's another little something. <coughs> Turn that around. These are from Gum which is a dental uh, equipment company and they're actually used for threading floss through your teeth so and you get about 25 I think in a packet for next to nothing just for a few pennies and they look like this you can actually make them yourself but it's much easier to buy them so this is uh, crystal flash UV pearl and we want about six six, seven strands or thereabouts. We'll just pull these out. Nice and long ones. So <coughs> we thread these through the dental flosser. So oh, missed one there. Right. So they're hanging in the middle. There's the one I missed. Just put that one through. There we go. So they're hanging through the middle. We then take the point of the flosser and we push it through the tube. There we go. Once through, we just secure the crystal flash, like so, and then we can cut off and just tie that down. Now, again, just to adjust your tube, so the lateral lines, like I said, are on the side. Just 
need to spin that. There we go. And tie that down. You don't want it pressing up against the hook bend so it's all crooked. You want you want this straight. And if you get it correct, you'll see that it has a nice eel shape to the body, sand eel shape to the body. Now we'll just build up a little crystal hair going on there. There we go. You see there's a little bit of a step here. We'll just fix that. A bit of tight thread. There we go. Whip finish. Excellent. Remove that. Okay. Now we need some tape eyes. These are one and a half. The smallest ones. Take these off. We want one each side. Like so. And we take UV glue or resin. And we want to fill the tube around the head. This will all only secure everything and make it much more durable but it will also give the right position of the weight to make it fish like a darting sand eel we don't need to cure that completely right now because the other cures will penetrate so I want to keep the head nice and slim Go. Even it out nice and torpedo like. There we go. That's enough. Okay, now we remove the eel, turn it around. I hope you get this. I wasn't thinking about this. What I'll do is I'll just uh, adjust the camera. There we are. Camera adjusted. So you pull off a length of tying thread like normal. This is dynamo I'm using and you hold it you secure it with your finger and your thumb of your left hand tightly just at the base of the tail then we go around getting tighter and tighter now you see where I singed and melted the end of the tube in the beginning for the purchase of the tying thread you see that it's not going to slip off now because those are holding the tying thread in position and could pull it really tight and again so once that's done little UV resin again like so blast with the light we're all good and what I do is remove the tying thread this one goes over the top and you have your two ends so I just make a double knot this will fall below the tail as you see and I tighten this up like that. pull that tightly and then I make one above the tail, double knot again, and tighten this up. And there we are. Remove these. A little bit more resin. we need just to hold them in position. 
position. This is, uh, if you've not seen this before, this UV light is a Veniard UV light that's on a foot pedal so it keeps you both your hands free and it's connected to the main so you get full power the whole time. Excellent. Okay, I'll spin that around again now the correct way and probably have to just adjust the camera again. I'll be back with you in a second. Back in position. So what we can do now is we can just trim the tail off. It doesn't have to be too long that just to give the impression of a sandy old tail. And we can just use the UV resin a little bit more just to even out where we're going here. I'll do me, I think. That's it, we're looking good. Take some markers and the blue on the top. You get that very fishy sandy eel effect.